Hello YouTube and their crypto enthusiasts and welcome to another episode of Trading Bitcoin. Uh, we did a trade up here uh, after we had a close on uh, on the uh, four hourly above this. Uh, I saw that the RSI was quite overextended yet I went into the trade as if we go back here we broke that well, let's see. We broke uh, this resistance. Our next resistance for RSI was up here at um, 70. Uh, no, last uh, next resistance was up here at uh, 78, approximately. And we were at an RSI of um 70 75 so i thought i had had a leg left in it so i was expecting something like this one leg to the upside and then another leg and then a pullback but unfortunately we failed to to break uh, higher than than this and we went down for a little bit of a, of a correction um i'm not too worried about that um i might do a trade again here as we break this depending a little bit on a few things i'll show you but now we see on the hourly the rsi is at 14 and rsi track the average gain versus the average loss uh, for the last 14 candles as i have it set as 14 close here uh, and now we see we have support here on the hourly for the rsi so this is most likely why we're getting this bounce. We wigged almost all the way down to the 50 moving average. Uh, then we went back inside this little triangle that I made. Um, it's it's not a valid triangle yet because we don't have enough touch points. We do have enough touch points here, um, but not not enough. So we need to it to go up here now and then down and then break out to the upside um and then the target is back up here um yeah because we're not going to break it before the end so it's just slightly higher than uh than uh the triangle here uh if we look at the rsi on on the four hours we can see that we are um at a 60, uh, which we do have the potential to go higher because um, there are no resistance levels before. Well, we have one up here that we need to break, but there is there is possibilities on the four hours. So for us to go higher um, on the daily, I think we are a little bit overextended, but as you can see, Bitcoin have a lot of momentum. Um, so so we have the possibility of going up here, which maybe take us all the way to, to 60. So we are a little bit overextended. That means that the average gains um, on, on the last 14 days are higher than the average losses. So... Um, if we go to the monthly that is interesting as well and as you can see we are getting very extended um this is the bull market of of 2018 we topped out about 95 so we do have a little bit to go there is still some momentum left in this before we need to see a pullback and as you can see here in in uh uh, 2017 we first had had one top then we went back down and then we went back up so let's see if we can get the we need to do the logarithmic then and scale down and here we see my prize model as well i recommend everyone to to watch the video um it's called uh, uh huge bitcoin dump um why i'm not worried uh this this go through my prize model uh, so so here we see we first had one pullback on the rsi it came back and it broke broke the top of that 
and went a little bit higher. Um, but I do think we are getting close. So at 60,000, uh, that's where I think we're going to see a little bit of a pullback again. But right now, I'm very bullish. And we also have PayPal coming coming in with the uh, rest of the world being able to, to buy Bitcoin on PayPal. That will happen uh, before the summer. Uh, there is not too much talk about that in the news yet, but it was massive in the United States. I think that was part of the reason why we saw this big pump um, on the, on the, uh, around Christmas uh, because of those PayPal news. And PayPal increased their revenue by 12% from, uh, from uh, user transactions. Um, so, so that is very, very good for PayPal and very good for, um, for the, the, uh, Bitcoin community, um, because now they're going to try to, to get the rest of the world, um, uh, enabled to do this as fast as possible as well. And they have said on their FIQ on their uh, homepage, uh, that they will manage this before the summer. So then I think we're going to see another pump. Um, if this comes before or after um, the uh, um, th we reach 60K, it's probably going to be after. So I think this is, if we might go to 60K and we see a correction, uh, this is probably what's going to turn the... Uh, um the correction up to and, and make us go to the upside again when paypal is uh is announcing that uh, uh the rest of the world can buy bitcoin on paypal uh, of course there can be other other news i mean the the bullish news for bitcoin is is lining up in a big queue so yeah uh, but that might be one thing that can risk uh, ris uh reverse uh, uh, pullback like we saw the Elon Musk news did with the uh, previous pullback from 40k to 30k so I think there are going to be a lot of potential candidates to reverse this um, uh, this pullback we're probably gonna see at 60k uh, but well for now let's concentrate about getting there so this is on the hourly. Uh, for me, this look bullish. Um, we have this little bit downtrend here. Uh, we have good support here on the RSI. Um, we went a little bit below it here, but if, um, I think if if we if we were to break out for this triangle to the downside, we have a chance of bouncing here. We also have a chance of bouncing before. Uh, before uh, going into to this uh, wedge that we broke out of. Uh, and the good thing is that now this support here from this wedge is above 50,000. Um, so so uh, yeah, then we have this huge psychological level here as well and on 50,000. Even though I, I was a little bit worried that the Bitcoin kind of broke through it so easily. Um, how many tries did we have at 50,000? One, two, three, and then it broke through it with a wig. Um, and here it closed above it, and uh, we just blew up to uh, to 51,000. Uh, but but 50,000 is, is huge. That's a huge psychological level. It's halfway to 100, where everyone is hoping we're going. Um, around this summer i think most people think we will reach a hundred thousand and uh, and i heard price targets of uh 150,000 um for um this uh the, for this year and and a lot of people think that that uh, uh the the uh, bull market is going to end around december january um Maybe it will. I have my bull market ending this fall, uh, so I'm going to be a little bit conservative. And my exit strategy is to take half of my uh, GBTC uh, uh, as as profits then, and um, and also the other Bitcoin trusts I have. Um, and then I'm I'm going to continue to buy 
dollar cost average, um, do some trades uh, when when the time is right, buy larger amounts when the time is right. Um, this trade up here was a little bit risky trade um, with with us being that extended on the on the RSI, but I'm I'm still confident that we will reach our price target of uh, fifty four thousand and then maybe even all the way up to sixty thousand. So I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video and remember to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. And and uh, let's hope that we uh, we come up here, bounce here, go down, and then just continue to the upside. Uh, up here is the target. It's not a huge trade. Uh, let's just measure it. But yeah, it's it's two percent. It's 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 a small trade, but. It's it's on the path to to the larger target, which is uh, which is uh, uh, fifty four thousand. So yeah, that that might be an opportunity for the people who didn't go in here with me um, to go in if we break to the upside here, or if we bounce off um, the fifty moving average, or if we bounce off uh, of the uh, the wedge here that we already broke out of. But there might be a possibility that we go down, we just break through all this and and, uh, and fall down to, to, um, to, to uh, beneath this wedge. And then the price target is at the bottom of the wedge. So just be aware of that, which is around 42,000. So it's a bit risky. Um, but yeah, I think Bitcoin have momentum, and uh, yeah, I'm willing to take some risks now uh, with the uh, with the small small trades. Uh, I'm not doing uh, crazy trades up here. Um, not with uh, with uh, the high RSI on the on the higher time frames. But yeah, some small trades for for some excitement and to to stay updated. Um, that that can be good fun. But my my big advice to everyone is is dollar cost average in, in Bitcoin. Buy the dips, and um, and just keep going at it. Uh, there is still still a long time left on on uh, on this uh, bull bull market. We're only about to get started. Uh, we see that from history. So so yeah, the bull we are in the beginning of of the bull market, and it's most likely gonna at least uh, last until this fall. So that is my pre uh, prediction, and let's see if we can zoom out for a little bit so we can uh, have a look at where I I uh, believe the. Uh, the price target is for is not this green one. This is uh, this is just a, uh, a line I made. Um, oh, I don't have my my end of the bull market marked. Yeah, yeah, here it is on this. Uh, um, so I'm saying the bull market's gonna probably last until. Uh, yeah, here here we go uh this one yeah august that's my prediction so you see i have the top here at 100k uh because then we have a thousand percent from the halving because the first one was nine thousand the first bull one was nine thousand percent then the next bull one was tr uh, bull run was three thousand percent so naturally this one is uh believed to be a thousand percent from the halving which had a price around ten thousand or nine thousand, so a target around roughly ninety thousand um, should be what is expected. But we need to see how this work out with other indicators as we get in close. But this is my price prediction, and I say very conservatively that it's gonna end in August, um, based on on the time, uh, the because you have you have price and time when when you when you trade. And based on the length of these previously bull runs, um, we might we might see a longer bull run this time. But I mean, this is my most conservative target. So, 
and then I expect us to go down a little bit into a sort of bear market. We're probably not going to see these levels. Um, this is very, very pessimistic. I don't think we're going to ever drop below 30,000 again. Um, but but then we're going to have a run up uh, and, and the next halving in 2000 and uh, and uh, uh, 14, uh, 2024. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this should be this should be moved. Yeah, I put this at the wrong date, but yeah, you get the picture. So I think that's it for for now, and I'll see you all next time. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So bye for now.